Welcome back to another video. As you can see around me here, we are in a fancy permanent shack and I am out with my family. Got my wife and daughter Hi. hanging up here. In the, hanging up in the top bunk. I got a bunch of room back here, a little bit of work strategy going on with the laptop. Editing. Got Carter over here holding down the fort, doing some jigging, sneaking a peek at the televisions. This is where the kiddos are going to be sleeping tonight. And uh, we are ice camping, but this time we're doing it in, uh, in fancy, fancy luxury. So special thanks to my buddy Brad Hawthorne with Ice Camp Outfitters for uh, hooking us up tonight. But we're get, we've got some rattle reels down and uh, hopefully some of those pop pop off we're gonna be doing some jigging as well and hopefully we get some fish <coughs> some fish in the house for you here Dad. Oh. what is that a school of fish over there no that's not a school i also got this going on too which is really nifty got the mega live right here in the middle and you can see the dead stick in that hole and the active jigger in this hole. So we're all set, all rigged up, ready to catch some fish. Are you ready, Princess? Yeah. Good. We're all set up. Mm -hmm. Pizza, snacks, snacks, Gatorade. This is Ella's spot. Carter's up there. We're watching Home Alone. Nick and I are up in the big bed. Got him. First fish of the night. First fish of the night. First fish of the night. <laughs> so Jordan's like, ooh, look at that. Oh, wow. wow. The thought Can process. I hold it? Oh man. Hold on, yeah. sweetie. Not oh, a you walleye. have to let him get it out. Oh, is that a burbot? That is a burbot. Whoa. Whoa. Guys, wow. we caught a burbot. Wow. Oh, I love burbots. That's right. awesome. So the thought process was maybe we were going to catch some walleyes out here, but they look at look that. Like How's that from Malax Lake Burbot? Awesome. They look like All right, eels. check this out. Beautiful fish. The thing about burbot is you can, you can lip them, which is kind of handy. You might get some burbot thumb though if you catch enough of them. But sweet. We're going to get some cameras set up and hopefully catch some more fish. That one actually went on a shiner, so... Woo. Super exciting. What do you think about that, kiddos? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Can I hold it? You're going right in for the hole. Yeah, you she, hold it really she tight. dove right in. Ah. Yeah, you can, just, you can just touch it quick. It's really slimy. Ah. Isn't that cool? Okay, we gotta so put them back. I'll hold it. Let's... Actually, no, it's fine. Should we show them to the camera quick? <laughs> it's dripping on you, Ella. Oh. Whoa. Sweet. Ella really wants to hold it with you. Well, burbot season is really more of like a late ice thing, but you get set up in the right spot like this on early ice and uh, you can get some burbot in your hair. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get them back. Okay, you got it? Keep, yeah. Put your finger all the way underneath. Ready? I touched me. Yeah. It touched me. So Three, two, one, and... <laughs> <laughs> we almost had an Ella go down. <laughs> Alright, so a really quick update. We've been out here for just a few hours now, and uh, we've done some jigging, we've done some pizza eating, we've done some television watching, or the kids have, I should say, and uh, we just got them to bed, so... I think what we're gonna do is, uh, because Ella happens to be sleeping right in front of the jigging hole, I think that we're just gonna run these uh, rattle reels. I've got one, two, three, four of them out right now. I think I might put one or two more out while we're sleeping and uh, just have a big giant army of minnows down there working for us. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that is the plan. And we will keep you posted if anything uh, rattles rattles while we're Mine. sleeping <laughs> and uh, wakes us up. But yeah, we're going to hit the hay. I have traditionally had 
quite a bit of success at night during uh, like the middle of the night catching walleyes on rattle reels and just seems like it's a it's a good nighttime lake so hopefully we catch something for you and we'll keep you posted hopefully it doesn't wake up Ella <laughs> <laughs> hopefully it doesn't wake up Ella she uh, is kind of a crazy girl at night so it took us a while to get her to sleep but but she's sleeping now so that's good and we're gonna try and get some sleep too Little morning surprise here. There we go, got him. I think he might have tangled up in that other rattle reel too. This is small, whatever it is. Mm. Oh, it's another burbot. Oh my word. Yeah. Are burbots good to eat? Burbots are good to eat, actually. Oh. And they're also really hard to grab. <laughs> Mom doesn't like them. She says they're too fishy. <laughs> Is that right? Yep. We got an another burbot. And burbots happen to be one of my favorites. I'll just show them off to you quick and then I'll get them unhooked and back in the hole. There we go. Little midnight, little midnight dinner bell. <laughs> so, alright. Let's get another shiner on this. Oh, I can't even talk because I'm tired. All right, bye. What time is it? All right, so a real quick update. We slept mostly through the night. I think we woke up, it was like right around five o'clock or so for one more burbot that came in and, and wreaked havoc. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things. We had a big giant blizzard come through and that can slow down the bite sometimes. So it is what it is. But before I let you go, I figured I would run through a few interesting things that I kind of noticed or found in the house here. So the first thing I thought was neat, you've all probably seen these uh, see-through catch cover holes with the uh, little spot where you can slide your line in and you can put a rattle reel down through it. And obviously you can mount these rattle reels right on top of it, the ones that are made by catch cover, which I think is pretty cool. And one thing that I noticed that these guys did was they actually have a similar system, but they added a little stand there. Let's see if I can brighten that up so you can see it. They added a little stand, which is cool because they have a different kind of rattle reel on it that when it spins, it lights up. So that's just another system that's, that's pretty neat that uh, I have not seen before. That's a little bit different than the traditional catch cover on top of the uh, hole cover. in snow and I got it raised all the way up. So do you think we'll make it? I don't know. Oh no. Okay, we'll be back soon. So another thing that I've really enjoyed as well is uh you know, I've done this whole ice camping and luxury thing before and it's really nice, but it's also a ton of work. And it's nice uh, having the guys just set you up and everything is good to go. They uh, drive you out to the road and make sure everything's, everything's clean and make sure, uh, make sure the propane tanks are filled. Yeah, it's nice to not have to worry about a thing, but I wanna thank you guys all for watching this video all the way to the end. And uh, this is just one video in a 30 video series where I'm posting a video every single day. And we're getting towards the end now. But I want to uh, thank you for following along on this journey. And we got more videos to come. I will see you tomorrow.